All right, good morning or afternoon or evening or midnight. I don't know. Whenever the game design students are working on this wonderful project. Um, some of you need to work on it more in class, but hopefully that's uh, the case. Uh, this is the second video here in the turret behaviors video tutorials. In the previous video, we just set up a background and a player sprite, and we gave it some behaviors, right? Solid, bound to layout, scroll to, and eight direction. The thing we're going to be doing in this part of the tutorial is creating a little turret sprite that will actually track and follow your player character as it moves around. So right now we can open up our game here and we can drive our little guy around here and you'll notice the screen follows him. Um, we might have to change the speed but he's not able to escape out of the layout here. You get to the edge and it just stops it because of that bound to layout um, <coughs> behavior. So the next thing we want to do is we want to double click we're going to add in another sprite. And in this case, I'm just going to make it red. Mm, find the right shade of red. I want to make sure I have a good one. Oh, there we go. A nice dark red. And I'm just going to make it a square that's just filled in. Um, there's one little change we want to make to this, and that is this origin point. We actually don't want to change the origin point, but we want to add a new image point because part of what happens with the turret is it will shoot some sort of a projectile at our player character. So we need to give it a place to shoot from. So we're just gonna add a new image point and it'll say image point one, which is totally fine. We don't need to worry about renaming this. It just needs the number. And we're gonna right click it and we are going to quick assign it to the right. Okay, so there's top left, top, top right, left, middle, right. We wanna click right. And you'll notice it moves that image point all the way to the right of our square. And we can go ahead and exit out of this now. We wanna make sure to rename this sprite to turret and then we want to resize it to 50 by 50. Okay. And you can move it kind of wherever you want, but right here is probably good. Um, just a little bit away from our player character. <clears throat> and there's our turret. It's uh, easy to tell where it is. Um, it's a little simple design. You're welcome to put in a different sprite, but I'm just doing these very basic shapes just to keep it easy and quick. Um, this turret sprite needs two behaviors added to it, which we'll add right now. The first one is solid so that our player character can't just pass right through it. And the second one is, of course, turret, which is under movement here. Uh, it's the very bottom one. Okay, now what the turret uh, behavior does is it w is able to track certain objects that you tell it to track and follow them and shoot at them. And so if you look over here in the properties panel on the left side, it has a range, which we're actually going to increase. We're gonna double it up and change it to 600. It has a rate of fire, which means it shoots every however many seconds. So right now we have it at one second. So every one second, it's gonna shoot one projectile. Um, and then it can rotate, it can target a bunch of different things. It can have predictive aim if you wanna make it a little more difficult to dodge. Um, so the turret behavior is pretty advanced. Um, but if you notice right now, as we start up this game, I can fly all the way around it and it's not tracking me, it's not shooting me, it's not doing anything, okay? Let's go ahead and exit out here. And I'm actually gonna change the speed on this uh, player sprite because it's so slow. I'm changing it to 500 to make it better. But even then, you notice when I was steering around, it wasn't really tracking anything because we have to start adding in some events. Okay, so let's go to our event sheet. We're going to add in our first event for this project. And what it is going to be is it's going to be a system event. So we'll click on system. And then we want to click on every tick, which means every time the game refreshes, which by default is 60 times per second, um, we want our turret, so our turret sprite here, to acquire a new target. So we're going to scroll down, or you can search for acquire, but we're going to scroll down here to these turret behaviors, and we're going to acquire target. And that target is going to be our player sprite. So that means every time our game refreshes, which is 60 times a second, right, just naturally so we can see movement, um, our turret is going to search within its search radius, which is 600 pixels, for the player sprite. And if that player spread is detected, it's going to track it and follow it. So now that we have this event in here, we should be able to move around and our turret will track our player. So you'll notice there it is. As we get in range, it will follow our player around everywhere it goes. And we can switch directions and move around and it's pretty good at following. Now you might ask yourself, why is it not shooting anything right now? Well, it actually is trying to, but we just haven't assigned it a projectile to shoot yet. So in the next video, that is what we're going to do, is we're going to add a projectile. <clears throat> but for right now, as long as you have that turret set up with its behaviors, and you have this event here, you're on the right track. And uh, we'll get you going in the next video with an actual projectile. We'll see you then. Bye.